Welcome back to the NW Sportscast. Today, I'm going to be doing a very quick Mariners review. How the season's going for, I'm going to be going over batting averages, home run totals, ERA, where they are in the AL West, and my updated Mariners predictions. Um, before we get started, if you guys like the content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It means a lot for our channel. And if you enjoy the stuff, you might as well subscribe. Me and Levi should be doing. Oh shoot! Me and Levi should be doing an episode, um, a full hour-long episode, pretty soon. So look forward to that. And uh, let's get into this. So right now, the Mariners are thirteen and eight with a six hundred and nineteen percent winning percentage. They are second place in the AL West behind their red hot. Oakland Athletics, who are 14-7, and seven. Um, they're on a, what, 13-14 game winning streak. It's absolutely insane. I don't know where the record stands, but I am assume they're getting somewhat close. Um, however, we are second place in the entire AL. We're second in the AL West. We're second in the entire AL, uh, just in front of the 13-9 Red Sox. So the Mariners, great start. You couldn't ask for anything more. Um, I think that they're playing, obviously, super, super well. But the thing that's really... Uh, pushing this team forward is the bullpen playing out of their minds. They've given up. Sorry, guys. They've given up like what is it? Like two runs in the last like how long? In the last like twenty games or something? It's absolutely insane. They're doing super super well. So um, shout out to like Graveman and all those guys um, who are just pinning their heart out. So right now we have a leader in home runs by a lot is Mitch Haniger. He's leading the team by with five home runs compared to Ty France with three. Marmaleos, who has three, very good surprise there. And then we have Kyle Seager and Taylor Trammell, the rookie, is getting some power on board with three as well. Evan White has one. And Sam Haggerty, the guy that doesn't get as much playing time, has two home runs. Dylan Moore is off to a kind of rough start with only one home run. And then Braden Bishop, Jake Fraley, and then obviously Kyle Lewis hasn't played that much, has uh, zero as well. We go to average and at the top, you won't be surprised. Maybe you will be. It's Ty France. Our boy Ty France is hitting 320. Mitch Hanniger is shortly behind 291. And then Kyle Seeger, 247. And um, other than that, guys, we have JP Crawford, 235. Taylor Jamel, 155. And Dylan Moore, 107. And then everybody else has not qualified so far for batting average. So it sucks that we have Taylor Jamel hitting 155. Um, but he does have three homers in the year, and Ty hitting 320 makes up for that. So that's that's good to see. Then we have RBI totals. Um, this is getting hits when it matters, and you won't be surprised to see the veteran on top of this list being Kyle Seager, and then our the second oldest guy being Mitch Haniger with 17, and then again Ty France, uh, third with 12. If Ty France is a rookie, if if Ty France was a rookie, I don't know if he's considered a rookie this year. Uh, he would be in contention for Rookie of the Year. He's playing out of his absolute mind. And then you have guys like Jose Marmaleos with 8, Taylor Chamel with 9, Dylan Moore 6, Evan White 6, etc. Kyle Lewis still a 0. I want to see Kyle Lewis get going. Obviously, he's only been here for about a little under a week, but it'd be great to see that. So, now let's see. We have runs batted in. Um, or just runs. We have Ty France at 17, Mitch Hanniger 16, J.P. Crawford at 11. J.P. Crawford has some speed, not surprising there. And then hits. We have 25 hits for Mitch Hanniger, 24 for Ty France, 20 for Kyle Seeger, and 16 for J.P. Crawford, followed by 11 for Evan White. Okay, now let's go to games played. Um, right now we have J.P. Crawford at 21 games, tied with first with Ty France, Mitch Hanniger and Kyle Seeger, and that's kind of what you expect minus Ty France. You, in going into this year, into the offseason, you think Ty France may be a little bit of a utility guy. Um, obviously not. Has played uh, every single game I believe this year. Then you have Luis Torrens, Taylor Chamel, and Evan White with 18 games. Luis Torrens has turned into our starting catcher, um, and Tom Murphy six games behind him now um, with only 12. Brandon Bishop has eight. Jake Fraley with five, and Kyle Lewis. With three. Let's go to our pitching. Chris Flexen has two wins. Anthony Miswich has two wins. Rafael Montero has two wins. And then Justin Dunn, Marco, Kendall Graveman, Lee J. Newsom, Justice Sheffield, and Drew Steckenrider, and Will Vest all have a win. Yusuke Kikuchi, um, although been playing really, really well, does not have a win. And then obviously, um, you have guys like 
James Paxson getting hurt. That sucks. And then, here we go. So let's go with ERA. This is an important one. Chris Flexen is in the lead with a 2.74 ERA. Chris Flexen has been playing out of his mind, guys. Um, I'm saying Chris Flexen, the ace, Chris Flexen. Um, not really, guys, but he's been playing really, really well. You said Kuchi with 5.7 ERA, Marco with 6.04. So our starting pitchers haven't been playing great, but it's really been our closers who have just played absolute. They've just been playing out of their minds. Uh, Chris Flex and Marco and you say have four games started each behind, with in front of Justin Dunn, just Justice Sheffield with three, and then Nick Markovich with two, James Paxton, James Paxton with one, and then yeah. So, um, they've given up. Uh, Chris Flexen's given up 26 hits. Yusei Kushi's given up 23. Marco's given up 22. Justice with 15. Nick with 11. Drew struck and Ryder with 10. And Justice done with 9. So overall, pitching's been really, really well. It's been guys like Rafael Montero. And then you have um, Kendall Graveman has given up one hit this whole season, guys. He's an absolute stud. If he continues this, he's obviously going to be making an all-star game giving up one hit. That would be crazy. If he gives up like a hit every week, oh my guys, that would be insane. But um, yeah, overall, really, 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 um, really just clicking on all cylinders right now. Our defense is playing really, really well between the fifth and ninth inning. If we can get things going through the fourth, the first to the fourth inning, um, that's a lot of young teams with problems that haven't played together much, except they just, they struggle to get into rhythm right off the bat in games, and then they kind of get going at the end, sometimes it's too late, but right now it just hasn't been for the Mariners. They've been able to fight back. They are the comeback boys. And hopefully they'll find a way to continue to come back. Although I don't, I would rather just beat teams by three or four runs consistently. The whole game um, will obviously take a comeback win. So my updated, uh, my updated season prediction is I think they're going with 85 wins, and I think the A's are still going to beat us by about two games with 87 wins. I think we might make. A wild card spot. I don't know how uh, close it would be, but I think 85 wins would get you a wild card spot. So that's my prediction. I think this Mariners team is really, really good. I think Kyle Lewis, when he gets going, not if, when he gets going, and then if, if, this is an if, if Kalnick comes here and plays well, he's going to get your guys. I just don't know how well he's going to play. Um, we'll see that. I will be at two games during May. Um, so maybe I will be at one of Kalnick's first starts. Uh, that'd be kind of fun to see. Maybe, you know, get one of his first balls or something. I'd be sick, but uh, either way, um, you know, we're, we're just going to see. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully, I can see Kalnick play in May, the two times I'm going to be there. Um, hit me up if you guys are there at the same time. It's going to be May 16th and May 27th. He's probably going to start early May, but we're getting up there. We are on April 24th. May is right around the corner, and let's see if... Um, Kalnick starts to play the starting lineup when Kalnick doesn't play it would probably be Kyle Lewis, Kalanick, um, probably wouldn't be a starter. You'd probably have, uh, I don't know, guys. It, we have a good lineup. Obviously, with Kyle Lewis and Mitch Hanniger, I'm pretty sure kind of locked right now. But then you have guys like Taylor Trammell, who's just been playing really, really well, honestly. Obviously, hitting 155 with three homers. Um, I don't know. It would probably be a mix between Taylor Trammell, Jared Kalnick. I don't know where Jared Kalnick can play infield at all, if he could be a DH at all. But Ty France, obviously, is playing some second base, some DH. Marmolejos is playing really, really well, too, guys. I think we're kind of sleeping on him. He's a good, um, I think a good, not sleeper pick for, um, but a sleeper pick for kind of just being a role guy for the next three or four years. I think he should hang around our bench and be in when we need him the most. Um, he's a power hitter, and it's good to have power hitters. And then will be, obviously. So, um, yeah, so that, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. We got Kyle Lewis. We got Kyle Seager playing well. Um, and then we got, sorry, we got Kyle Lewis and Kyle Seager. Kyle Seager playing well. Ty France, Mitch Hanniger. If I was going to do my rankings today, it would be Mitch Hanniger. Then we got Ty France. Then we probably are going to go with Kyle Seager. And then after that is, I would probably go Kendall Graveman, um, maybe even in front of Kyle, uh, maybe in front of Kyle Seager, and then I think Chris Flexen's been playing really, really well, and hopefully, uh, Kyle Lewis will break into our top five pretty soon. Is when he gets going, he's an absolute stud. As this video is reaching ten minutes, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video. 
if you watched all the way to the end, then you clearly enjoyed it a little bit. So leave us a like. Thanks, guys. Go Mariners. My Mariners poster right there. Go Mariners. And um, me and Levi are going to be doing a show, so watch out for that. If you want to see anything sports related, leave a comment down below. Chances are I will do it. I'm not joking when I say that. Leave a comment. If you want to see something happen, don't be afraid to ask. I will give my insight on what your favorite team if you want it. And, um, you know, it'd be fun to interact with you guys. Obviously, it's, it's a benefit of having smaller channels. I will read your comment 100%. Literally 100% of the time I read comments. So if you guys do it, then that'd be great if you guys give me a suggestion. So um, thanks for watching. MLB Power Rankings will be with the next show with Levi's. So be tuned to that. Thanks, guys. Go Mariners and see you later.